Hey, Chad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. Today, we're gonna uncrate the LS2 X Force. What's up, Speed X fam? Before we jump in and break down the latest Moto Lid from LS2, do us both a favor subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way, you get first look at the latest gear coming your way. Subscribe, that way you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to purchase an X-Force and support us here at speedaddicts.com, that would be rad as well. And make it real easy, there's gonna be a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to shop for this X-Force at Speed Addicts, as well as any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. So this is gonna be the high-end flagship from LS2 when it comes to off-road helmets. It is called the X-Force, and it's available in both a classic fiberglass composite shell as well as the Mac Daddy carbon fiber shell, which you see before me. Now the regular composite is going to be 299 to about 320, depending on the colorway and the size you pick. And then if you wanna to upgrade to this carbon jammy, you're gonna pay about 429 to 449, again, depending on the size range. Sometimes the bigger sizes are a little bit more expensive. Now, my two cents here, if you're gonna go with an X-Force, Spend the money, get the carbon is extremely lightweight coming in at two pounds or 2.9 pounds. So when you get under three pounds for a moto lid, you pick it up and it feels exceptionally lightweight. The other cool thing about the X-Force is that you're going to get both the DOT homologation and the new ECE 2206. The 06 is new for 2023 and something to look for when you're shopping for helmets out there because it is a stricter testing regimen out of Europe it's gonna be four drop tests instead of the older single drop test from 2205. And it's pushing manufacturers to create safer helmets. They're testing for things like high velocity versus low velocity impacts and also rotational energy management. Four shell sizes, four EPSs, size range extra small all the way up to three extra large so you big heads are not left out. So intermediate to roundish oval on the fit, but it should fit most of the heads here in the United States without any sort of issues. We have customizable padding, so if you need to fine tune, we can help you out. Now, when it comes to fit, remember, you should be shopping with us here at Speed Addicts, not to toot our horn, but we're gonna give you no cost returns in case you have an issue with the fitment. You just decide it's not for you as long as it's brand new and original condition. You're, we're gonna give you that free return label. Just make sure you live in lower 48 states and we are not gonna nickel and dime you like those corporate moto outfits. We're gonna treat you like family, so give us a shot on your next helmet purchase. Okay, the X-Force. As you can see, this is a combination of form and function. We have some high performance features, but also a lot of bling here. This matte carbon finish combined with the glossy black uh, vent grills, shall we say, is a very unique look. I will give that to them. When I pulled this out of the package, I'm like, ooh, this X-Force is quite sexy. And then I spun it around and went, Wow, look at the teeth on her. I mean, my goodness, this is uh, an interesting front end, shall I say. You know, it's, um, it does, you can tone it down here. So we have this like giant roost guard and then this super aggressive villainous uh, chin bar vent and grill setup. And so if you don't need this extra roost protection, you take off that optional roost guard it's a little bit more subdued, but definitely sinister. So if you're looking for something aggressive, something blingy, here it is. It also has, like I said, that latest safety um, homologation. So it's got it where it counts and it does have a ton of ventilation. But as far as the target rider here, I'm not really sure what they were shooting for. It's not necessarily like a racing helmet. Um, I feel like this is more suited for enduro just because of the massive ventilation and how light it is, or maybe a dual sport helmet where you can get a little bit more blingy. You know, if you're riding this on and off road, it's gonna be a cool look on the street for sure. So let's start with the ventilation here. Roost guard off, cause that was just too much going on up here, guys. Okay, so you do underneath all this bling, you notice the two tone, they got the matte finish, and they got the shiny mirror finish on the inside. This is all vented, so you're gonna get that same sort of chin bar ventilation you'd expect from any other helmet. If you look inside of here, you can see the studio right through those vents. There's also hydration and comm system compatibility in there, which I'll show you more of in a minute. But then in terms of other ventilation, you have big brow vents here. This is gonna blow through the EPS, is all channeled in here. When I pull out that liner, you're gonna see that. So you're gonna get a lot of air in through the brow. 
Now, up to this point, it's like a lot of other motocross helmets. What makes the X-Force different is all of this venting up on the top. This reminds me of like a Aero Aviator. We have these big cathedral vents up here and they go all the way to the back. Now, these are not just for show. When we open up the helmet, you're gonna see the EPS has enormous ducts in here. So this thing is just gonna be a big ventilation monster. So if you get hot, you're in a humid area and you're working hard, enduro, or just anywhere where it's gonna be hot and humid and ventilation is a top criteria when you're shopping for a helmet, the X-Force should be uh, on the top of your list. Now, let's check out the visor. They've done something interesting. Notice this is fixed. The peak, as we call it in the business, it is not adjustable. You don't see your typical screws here where you can rock this back and forth, but what you do have is this secret visor extender. So this is all built into the helmet. Push it back, bring it out. You want some more air coverage. If you're gonna get dual sport mode and you're gonna go on the street, you're gonna go a little faster, you can back this off. You get less pull on the helmet itself. So a unique feature, we've seen visor add-ons, we've seen um, some pull-out systems like this before, but it is kind of cool. Now, if you smash this, you're gonna have to buy a replacement. They're not including one in the in the box, but LS2 accessories are typically not too expensive. So very interesting. Let's flip this over and check out the interior. Well-appointed uh, interior. We got the X-Force branding underneath. Um, I do believe that this button over here on the side is meant to hang your hydration hose and route it to the back of the helmet. It's still early days on this thing, so I'm waiting for all the info from LS2. One of the other things we're waiting to hear back on is exactly how this is gonna work with comm system. So it is ready to receive a universal comm system of your choice. There are speaker pockets. There's even microphone routing to get up to the chin bar area. What's not entirely clear at this point is that LS2 is coming out with a proprietary unit that's made by Cardo. It's gonna fit in virtually all of their helmet models going forward. And what that is gonna entail is a pocket in the back of each one of those helmets gonna work in combination with those speaker pockets and that microphone routing to make it a real plug and play integrated system. And because it's Cardo, it's gonna play well with other Cardo units. It's all a good thing, but right now, this door in the back on the first run of these X-Forces got adhesive on it, it's stuck in place, it's not removable. There's not a port for that Cardo pack that is coming. So again, we're gonna to have to update the description later because I'm told the X-Force is gonna be compatible with that Cardo unit. Okay, with that out of the way, Let's check out the D-ring closure, and they've got a little pull tab here that makes it easier to find your way around when you're flying blind. They have a snap system here to tighten that up. And then you're gonna get emergency quick release cheek pads, which is something that virtually any um, you know, mid-range or high-end helmet's gonna have these days in case EMS has to get you out of the helmet. Let's go ahead and pull this. Now the cheek pads are one in the same with the neck roll, as you see is as you'll see as we when we do the full takedown here. And these are laser cut, antimicrobial, hypoallergenic. My goodness, it must be Friday. Okay, so here's the neck roll. It's got a micro suede, um, you know, nice, soft. We got mesh here on the back and it is all one piece. So I like that it's dark colored. I've seen a lot of motocross helmets lately using whites and light grays that are just gonna get trashed over time but uh, this thing is quite comfortable in here and it is a good look. You're gonna see on this side, this is for a boom microphone that's gonna be part of that Cardo system that I think is coming soon, but you can install any universal comm system you like. And then up in that chin bar area, you notice there is a big cutout for a hydration system. They even include some hose here to get this all wired up for hydration. So you're doing longer rides, you're doing enduro, you're doing desert racing, uh, you'd be able to wire up your hydration system. Let's pull the liner out and show you the rest of the helmet. Here's your X-Force liner. Okay, there's lots of perforation in this liner. I think the point of this helmet is that it's going to flow lots of air. This is all mesh, like honeycomb mesh. You can kind of see through that if I get out of the way. So this liner is meant to breathe. And the EPS construction inside, as promised, you will see if I get out of the way here, those enormous ducts. These are probably some of the biggest ducts that I've seen on a helmet uh, before. So they're really making plenty of space for the air to flow to come through. So ventilation is the key to victory. 
Also lightweight because it is that full carbon fiber shell. We have a multi-density EPS liner. One thing that is noticeably missing here when it comes to the higher end motocross helmets these days is a specific device to mitigate rotational energy. So would I be racing in this helmet like motocross racing? Probably not. I'd probably pick something with a energy, uh, rotational energy management system in it. But for enduro, a lot of desert racer guys, I think this would be a nice weapon to consider. It is the LS2 X-Force and five-year warranty from LS2. So it's about two years longer than the industry standard. It is badass looking. It's something different. That does it here. If I didn't answer the question you want answer. Don't worry, Rider Support is standing by at speedaxe.com where you can always talk to a human or the phone, emails, or live chats. Also, if you grab one of these X-Forces, let the community know how you like it in the comment section below. Don't just take my word for it. That does it for today. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.